Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. On this video today, I'm super excited because I finally get to share with you the Fundamentals program or the Fundamentals routine on the Gold Method app. The Fundamentals program is exactly the same thing that I've been using in my own practice for the entirety of the pandemic, basically. Uh, I've seen a lot of progress. I used it with my own clients for a while and they saw progress and now it's available for all of you to try as well. I thought what might be kind of fun to do is to go through the building of a routine so I can show you what's there, how to fill everything out, how you might make a few decisions, and also to actually just leave you with the beginnings of a program that you might want to try out yourself. If you haven't done it yet, go ahead and click the link below in the description and you'll find a way to get to the Gold Method app there and you can make yourself a profile and the first month is free. You don't even need a code anymore. We got rid of all of that. So once you make a profile, you're going to be able to see all of the things that the app has to offer and you'll be able to get started making this routine. So once you have made a profile, you'll be greeted by this home screen. And so you're gonna go ahead and click this button right here for fundamentals. You can also do it up here in the corner as well. Uh, and then I, this is my fundamentals program I'm going through right now, but you won't see this. You'll just see the button for add a routine. And so we're gonna click that and we're gonna get started. So you're gonna name the routine. Let's just name it for right now, uh, sample, whoop, sample fundamentals routine. And then you'll see here it says skills. So we're gonna fill out our six up to six skills first. And it says skills are broad categories that make up the foundation of our playing. Examples include articulation, scales, multiple tonguing, flexibility, long tones, first attacks, etc. So for this routine, I have six skills laid out. And the first one is artic articulation. The next one is flexibility. The next one is going to be lower register and then upper register. And then we're gonna add a skill here and it'll say multiple tonguing. And then finally we add this skill and it's going to be just a phrasing category. All right, so you see we can't add any more skills. So we have our six and we are ready to go. Click save and add exercises. And now we're into, we have this skill of articulation and now we're into putting in the exercises for the category of articulation or the skill. So we see exercises are chosen to improve a desired skill. That's pretty self-explanatory, I guess. And then it says goal tempo. The goal tempo will guide the tempo progressions within the program. For new exercises, it is recommended to choose a goal tempo you are already capable of. This ensures the development of healthy playing habits as a priority. And then weekly repetitions. Weekly repetitions are used to set boundaries in your practice session. For shorter exercises that have no repetition built into them, it is recommended to choose six weekly repetitions to begin with. For longer exercises or exercises that have repetition built into them, it is recommended to choose three weekly repetitions to begin with. So we start with articulation and you can choose up to six exercises for this. You're gonna do it exactly the same way you filled out the skills, uh, but I'm only gonna do two. I'm only gonna get you started so you can kind of see how this works. So the first exercise we're gonna do is Arbin, page 32, number 29. It's an exercise I outlined in a previous video, so I will make sure to link that in the description if you wanna check that out. The goal tempo we're gonna do is 120 and our weekly repetitions are six and uh it, we don't have time right now to dive into what six means but just know that the routine itself will take the six weekly repetitions and divide them throughout the week so that you're getting different amounts of fast medium and slow repetitions for our second exercise we're going to do something that i sometimes do once i had moved past arbin or something i wanted to have something that's a little bit more complicated or a little bit more fun, but I don't want to put maybe an entire etude. So what I often would do at this stage is I would write Goldman etude number one and then do the A section. So that's just the first third of it. The gold tempo for that will be 100 and our weekly repetitions will be six. So if you wanted to add more, you would add another one here. You would add another one here. You could add two more. Uh, after that, and then we're going to hit save and go to the next skill. So flexibility, we're gonna fill it out the same way. For this program, I chose Bylin page six. Uh, the goal tempo would be 90, and we would have three weekly repetitions because there is repetition built into the exercise itself going through the different valve combinations. 
For the other one, for our second one rather, we're gonna put Bylin page 12, a goal tempo of 120, and three weekly repetitions. And so we're basically, we're on it. We just keep, oh, we don't wanna add skill, we wanna save and next skill. So now we have lower register. I'm gonna put one of my favorite lower register drills. This is one of my favorite things to do. It's the first page of the Snedecor low etude book. Our goal tempo is gonna be 92 and our weekly repetitions will be three. And then the next exercise will be uh, Snedecor low etude number three. Uh, I like to do these Stenicore low etudes within my routine because I like the musical application of trying to get in and out of the low register. In addition to the drills that I do, this kind of helps me give it a musical context. Uh, goal tempo of 116, three weekly repetitions. Again, if you wanted to add more, you could. We're going to move on. Upper register, uh, we have the beach upper register exercise. This is something I outlined a while back. I'll make sure to link that video down in the description below. And upper register is something that I would not do every single day. So if we only put it on this first exercise, we will see this exercise every other day. I'll show you what I mean by that. And it doesn't have a goal tempo that's specific to this exercise. So we're actually gonna put zero and we're gonna put zero. And then it's not gonna give us any tempos. It's not gonna give us any repetitions because this exercise itself has its own progression and its own structure that we'll use. So for upper register, that's all I'm gonna fill out. We're gonna keep going. We have now multiple tonguing and I'm just gonna put one double tonguing exercise and one triple tonguing exercise. So for double tonguing, we're gonna do Arbin page 176, number 85. The goal tempo will be 130 and our weekly repetitions will be six. And for our triple tonguing exercise, we're gonna do Arbin page 156, number six. Our goal tempo will be 104 and our weekly repetitions will be six. I would probably do more in my routine, but as you have seen this being put together, it shouldn't be too hard for you to figure out how to add more. And finally, we have phrasing. So what I usually do for something like phrasing is I'll take, again, some of the structure out of it and I'll just write concone lyric studies. And then I'll put zero for the goal tempo and zero for the weekly repetitions. And all this is, and even if you want to do it, you could write two to three Concone lyric studies. So what this is going to mean is when this pops up in your routine, you're just going to play two or three Concone lyric studies and have a good time making music. Here you could write two to three Rochu lyric exercises. Uh, same thing, zero and zero. Again, zero just means that it won't show up. We're not really worried about a goal tempo. Tempo. So then we have save and finish. And now we are led to this screen right here. So this is week one, day one of our sample fundamentals routine. So we click day, you see how we can't click any of the other days. We're gonna click day one and you can see that some of our routine is here. So when you fill out the entire thing that we just did, the program or the app will go ahead and divide the exercises out between the days to make sure that things are spread evenly and that you're not overdoing it on any given day, things like that. So on week one, day one, you'd pull out your Arbin book and you would do Arbin page 32, number 29, one time at 102 beats per minute. And then you would move on and you would do Bylin page six, one time at 68. You would do your lower register drills one time at 60. You would do your beach upper register exercise. And again, you see that this is blank. That's because it's its own progression. So you don't need to worry about it. Multiple tonguing, you do Arbin page 176, number 85, two times at 98 beats per minute. And you'd finish up with two to three Concone lyric studies. So again, this is pretty sparse because we barely filled it out. Again, this is just getting you started. You would maybe use some of these exercises and then add some more of your own. I just want to demonstrate demonstrate what this looks like to fill it out and what you get at the end of it. So if we click day two, now we have the Goldman number one, one time at 85, the other by Lynn, our Snedecor low etude. We have no upper register exercises because we only filled out that one. Remember how I said it's gonna show up every other day. Same thing, uh, we have the triple tonguing exercise and our Rochu lyric exercises. 
And you basically have this kind of idea for an entire month. You're never going to be playing the same thing each day. You're going to have different tempos, different amounts of repetitions. So even though you're coming back and playing the same exercises, because you're not playing them in the same way, there's always a level of interest or a slight level of challenge that is not present uh, the last time you did it. So it keeps you kind of on your toes and keeps you focused in a way that you don't have if you're just playing the same thing every single day over and over and over again. All right, that is it. If you are interested in this, go ahead and click the link down below to uh, get more information about the Fundamentals Program and the Gold Method app. I hope you enjoy using it. And again, the first month is free, so I just want people to try it and see what this looks like. And if you like it, it's 10 bucks a month after that. So tried to make it as affordable as possible so that it's just something that we would all maybe think about including in the way that we do our work to get the most out of our practice sessions. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it or you learned something or you found this useful, I'd really appreciate it if you would like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I did another video that was very similar to this a long time ago, so I'm gonna link that on the screen so you can check that out to get even more information about how I build my routines and the exercises that I choose. We'll see you in the next video.